Happening now, Honolulu police are still searching for the man accused of shooting another man in the back of the head. It happened last night in the parking structure at Ala Moana Center's Eva Wing. And this is the man police are looking for. 20-year-old Dehan Moon, who is 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs about 200 pounds. The victim is still in the hospital and police haven't said what started the confrontation between the two men. Bridget Namata follows up on the attempted murder investigation. Police tell us the victim got into an argument with Moon before the shooting. That shooting escalated and Moon shot the victim in the back of the head. Police sources tell us that two vehicles then left the scene behind me on Pequay Street. An argument that escalated into violence and now a Moanalua grad is fighting for his life. Police say 20-year-old Dehan Moon grabbed a gun from his vehicle and fired it at the victim. Former Moanalua head football coach Jason Colley now coaches in Kansas, but tells me he still follows KHON's Facebook posts. I saw a story, you know, and a 20-year-old man critically injured, and, you know, is shot in, in the head, and, and I see the age. I just, I, one, I say a prayer that it's not one of our, not one of my kids. Colley learned through his former players the victim is Stevie Feliciano. He tells me the former starting receiver and cornerback who played from 2012 to 2014 is currently on life support. And the kid just, he was so good with his nephews and his cousins and, you know, everybody that met Stevie loved Stevie. Sources say Moon took off in one of two vehicles and one of the getaway vehicles may have been set on fire. The shooting happened Christmas night. While Alamoana Center was closed for the holiday, though, we do know at least one restaurant was open. What the argument was about is unclear. Police say there were several witnesses at the time. I'm not in any position to judge anyone, and I don't know what he was going. I don't ever remember him being, you know, especially when I, when I was there, he was never arrested. The shopping center told us it is cooperating with police, but it can't say anything more at this time. Bridget Namata, KHON2 News.